Hello and welcome to Godox Film Lighting 101. Tonight we'll be experimenting with some night lighting of a car. Let's check it out. So tonight we are out here in the middle of summer in Texas and it is hot. And the idea here is to film a few abstract sequences of a guy washing his car. And I've always been a big fan of these old school vintage car washes. They have tons of character and just look awesome under the lights. And what's great about these car washes is here in the US you can find them pretty much anywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Godox lights to transform an everyday location into something a bit more stylized and edgy. So a great thing about shooting at a car wash is it gives you multiple options on which bay you want to actually set up your scene. So we came over here and we set up here on the end and this just allowed us more freedom and let us place lights wherever we needed to like in the corners over here. And what I liked about every bay of this car wash is that they had these mercury vapor bulbs in each of the corners. And what we did is we built off of those practicals and we used Godox lights to really enhance those lights for the scene. Okay, so for starters, what better way to highlight an American vintage car wash than with some good old American muscle. So we had this Dodge Challenger that was perfect and it fit the bill. And uh, what we wanted to do was have our talent just wash his car and kind of be in the zone and just love what he's doing out here. So what we really liked about this black car is that you can clearly see the reflections everywhere. And to really make this even better is when you add water. So water is definitely a great tool for cinematographers. If you pay close attention to exterior night scenes in movies or big budget commercials and even music videos, you'll notice most of the time the ground is soaked with water and puddles, even when it's a clear night with no signs of rain. The use of water helps reflect light, which makes things more dynamic and can even add a few extra stops of light to a scene. You can add water to pretty much anything like windows, cars, walls, even people if you wanted. Backlighting water highlights the detail of the water, whereas front lighting water can cause it to be nearly invisible. Of course, filming at a car wash can help with all of this, but if you find yourself in a remote location, you can always bring jugs of water or even water bottles to do the trick. Also, depending on the production budget, you can use a water truck to cover large surface areas or ask a local fire department to help you out with access to a fire truck or hydrant. Tonight we were doing a lot of experimenting and what better way to experiment than shooting handheld. And shooting handheld really allows you flexibility to find your shot and kind of get lucky with your composition. So um, I love going handheld, it's probably my favorite way to shoot. Um, and what we have tonight is we're using the Panasonic S1H with a Lomo 50 millimeter round front anamorphic lens. And using a vintage lens really helps complement a vintage location like the one we're at tonight. So the first thing we wanted to do was build off the practicals on location. So the mercury vapors were up there up high and to basically complement those lights, what we wanted to do was add a street lamp kind of motivation. And so using a light like the LD150R is perfect for this. So we're able to dial in the hue to exactly the orange tone of an old street lamp. And uh, we added a honeycomb and some barn doors. And what this is doing is it's containing the light in a narrow pool so that the light doesn't spill all over the scene. And this light will also backlight the water, which really helps the reflections across the car. 
So from here, what we wanted to do was add a little bit of fill light to the environment. So we took four Godox TL60s, and these lights are really cool because they can serve as practical lights within your scene, and I just really like how they look with the anamorphic lens. So I can use the Godox light app, I can turn them on, I can control the hue, saturation, brightness, and what's really handy is when the lights are placed up high like they are right now, I can be behind the camera and still control everything with the lights. So from there, what we wanted to do was complement the orange tone coming from the LD150R. So we took a Kodox SZ150R, and this light is full RGB, and we thought that a good turquoise type tone would really match the orange. So we have an orange and teal setup. So we turn this on, and what this light is doing is it's illuminating this bay right here next to the one that we're filming in, but it's also bouncing off of the ceiling to create shadows and then illuminate the car, the ground, and the subject below. So to create balance within our scene, we wanted to do on the opposite side of the bay is use a Godox S60 focusing light. And this light's really cool because it shoots a narrow beam, especially with the barn doors attached and it's super high output. It really highlights the water, which really enhances the texture that's all over the car. So to add more of an orange street lamp effect, just like the other light, we added an amber gel to this one. And it just makes it look more realistic in the scene and it helps create balance within the environment. For this particular shoot, what was really nice is most of these Godox lights are all battery powered. So it allowed us to get more experimental and to quickly set things up and move things around more efficiently. So since we were shooting an abstract sequence, we were able to shoot kind of out of order. And what we did was we shot all of our wides first and then we moved in and shot our close-ups inside the car. We took the lights that we had already lit up everywhere and we just brought them in closer and we experimented with what was working and where. And we just noticed if we move a light in a certain direction, we could illuminate the water on the windshield a certain way or on the driver's side window or on his face. And sometimes that's what's best about not having a set structure is that you can get experimental and you can find the right shot for the right moment. So when you're using a lot of lights around a lot of water, things can get sketchy really fast. So luckily Godox did the research and they thought about this and what they have now is they have a TL30 that comes with this cool waterproof bag. And so that's really a lifesaver when it comes to filming something like the situation we find ourselves in right now. And what's nice about this is we can set it on a windshield, literally wet down the car with the light on the windshield and get all the reflections of the water coming all around it. Hopefully, you can use a few of these lighting techniques to help with filming a car scene at night. Godox offers a one-stop solution for all your filmmaking needs. From lights, to monitors, to audio, to stands, to grip and staging essentials, they've definitely thought of everything. Also be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Godox Film Lighting 101. We'll see you next time. Until then, happy filmmaking.